Good afternoon. My name is Oleg Kovalev. You may remember me from the video from India. There I was through working Tuk Tuk. We are in the workshop of resource, where we develop all our projects and are currently finalizing the Tuk Tuk, which is being prepared for a contest in Kazakhstan. Hello everyone, my name is Vladimir. I am an investor in Solo Group and a member of the A Thousand Club. I have been following two projects, and the idea came to me to combine these two projects. The first project is the development of induction electric motors, and the second project is the blogger Nikita Podubnov, a channel called Dark Phase, who came up with the idea of arranging electric car races with solar panels, so in a word, solar cars. And the two themes converged. So I suggested to the management of the company that was developing the Tuk Tuk I would be writing that I participate in this project. They readily agreed, which adds to the confidence that the technology works. The management is in no doubt about it, not afraid to demonstrate the technology in action. That is, not just in words, but also in action. This technology will really be tested over a very long distance and under very harsh conditions. There will be many enthusiasts in Kazakhstan who have assembled their own equipment. We have chosen the Tuk Tuk to participate in this race, in this competition. In this regard, we are now developing a concept of how we can refine it to make it more efficient. Our way starts from the city of Uralsk. Then there will be the city of Aktobe. From Aktobe we go down the map to Baikonur. From Baikonur to Shymkent, from Shymkent to Almaty, to the east. If you look at the map. The way is more than 2000 kilometers. The conditions are very hard. There will be very high temperature, about 40 degrees of heat probably more, as well as snakes, spiders and scorpions. And as far as I know, we are the only ones who will be using an induction motor. Everyone else will be using a BLDC electric motor. Compared to the other competitors, we have both minuses and pluses. The main disadvantages are that we will have more weight compared to the other competitors. Among the advantages are the presence of a gearbox the reliability of the power units, as well as our unique motor, which we expect to be more efficient and less heated, in addition to a greater output from the solar panels. We have a number of advantages. There is a gearbox, which allows us to save batteries at low currents. And keep going, albeit slowly. In addition, we have increased battery capacity to 160 ampere hours which means it can cover quite a solid distance, more than 70 kilometers. In addition, we have a motor, which allows more energy-efficient use of electricity, because it has free running. For example, if you drop the throttle, it can go very easily by inertia, without breaking the motor. It is free running. If, let's say, you have magnet motors or BLDC motors, they have a sticking effect. There are powerful neodymium magnets, which start to break the equipment itself when the running is free. We have an increased volume of solar panels. According to the rules of this contest, the panels must not be removed from the vehicle, they must be directly on it. We have placed six solar panels on it, with a capacity of 300 watts. There are parameters that are written on the package. And then there are real ones, approximately 300 watts. As a result, we have a pretty good power reserve. 
We took this work, the development, and all the nuances seriously. So we expect to win this contest. I have been entrusted with the responsibility of being the pilot in this solar car race, and we are starting to redesign our machine.